what's going on, everybody, man. Episode 9 of this bitch, you feel me? You can basically consider this a schoolhouse um, special edition. Um, and when I say that, you know, I'm a couple of these shit I can't stand, um, monikers or things, has to do with my unpleasant experiences. That's a big-ass word. About when I was in high school, man. So let's get on into it, man. The first two ain't about it, you know, but, you know. Oh, shit. When you post statuses on Facebook and niggas start tripping and people start talking shit about you. And it doesn't even have anything to do with the fucking status, dude. Like, this one time I posted a picture on Facebook. And I was just playing around. And I was like, hey, yo, man, I'm about to go to the store, man. Y'all want anything back? You know, just joking around. This one motherfucker gonna be like, this one uh, Giants fan. This nigga gonna come on my shit. Oh, man, the Eagles fucking suck, bro. Really? What the fuck does the Eagles have to do with this status? Or this one guy, this one in Indianapolis coach fan, this nigga will come on here. Oh, man, oh, uh, you know we beat the Texans, dog. Hey, by the way, do you like peanut butter? What the fuck? Wow, man. Like, <laughs> motherfuckers asking me, do I like peanut butter? Niggas talking about football. I'm looking like, hold up, dog. Like, what the fuck does peanut butter and sports have to do with this damn status? It's crazy. I don't understand it, man. You know, like, I don't mind that sometimes, but if you keep doing it over and over and over again, you know, it's fucking stupid, man. Next one, dude. Oh, shit. Um, I've talked about this before. When chicks post nude, slutty-ass pictures, not necessarily nude, when, when women post, or girls, you know, a difference between women and girls, when girls, young chicks, post nude, slutty-ass pictures, not nude, I'm sorry, you know, you know, you know, you know, seductive-ass pictures, you know, with their titties and ass all out and up and shit, and they demand respect. They want a man that will treat them right and respect you, and respect them. Number one, how the fuck are you going to sit back and post uh, slutty ass pictures and expect men to fucking respect you, dog. Like, me personally, I like it. Shit. I any man that don't like it, something wrong with him, nigga. I mean, fuck yeah, I like looking at titties and big asses bounce up and down. Nigga, like you hitting switches, nigga, on a 6 foot. I mean, I love titties, dude. You know, but ain't no man, but a man damn sure ain't gonna respect you, man. Oh, no, player, man, they're going to see you, nigga, as a quick fuck for a buck, do something strange for a little piece of change, and I know damn well you're going to make that trick holler for a dollar. You feel me? It's just a quick fuck if a man does come on to you, dude. I mean, you can't sit back and post shit like that and expect niggas to respect you, dog. So this shit don't work like that. Next one. When you have to be some, oh, goddamn, when you have to be somewhere and... Now, me personally, I don't um, drive, I walk, or I sometimes get a ride, you know. When you have to be somewhere, and I don't know if my fucking mind is tripping. People know what I'm talking about. When you're in a rush to be somewhere, all of a sudden, the lights start moving slow. That red light that usually takes a quick, what, 10, maybe 15, 20 seconds? That motherfucker takes five minutes just to switch to green. I'm looking like, holy fuck, dude. I remember this one time, we was at a stoplight for damn near three. I'm looking like, god damn, this light is slow, man. And, and it happens every single time you're, you're, it happens every single time, excuse me, you're in a rush to be somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but shit, but when you leave early, them motherfucking lights is... They ain't got a problem, nigga, flick, flicking the green. But all of a sudden, when you in a rush to be somewhere, them motherfuckers is moving slow as shit. Oh, man, nigga. I remember this one time I had to go with my um with my mother to our doctor's appointment. And we had to be there at about, like, 3.30, right? You know, we left kind of, you know, late and shit. We had to, um, we left at 3.15. We didn't get down to that bitch until damn near 5 o'clock, into, almost until 5 o'clock because of them slow-ass fucking lights. But when we leave an hour or two early, oh, you get there early as fuck, dude. The lights ain't got a problem, you know, with switching to green. I hate that shit, okay? Next one. Uh, oh, shit. Dallas Cowboy fans, dog. New York Giants fans. You know, just 
football fans and, you know, basketball fans, you know, sports fans in general, man. When motherfuckers live in the past, cowboy fans, you know I got to address you, you know I have to address you, pimping. <laughs> we'll beat the Cowboys, and a motherfucker will come on my video, oh, um, fuck the Eagles, we have five Super Bowls. I'm looking like, really? What the fuck have them five Super Bowls done for your ass in the past 16, 17, probably 18 damn years? Them Super Bowls ain't done a damn thing to help you. It damn sure ain't helping Tony Romo. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's like, stop living in the past, playboy. This is the future. Now, I can see if you're, as much as I fucking hate him, you, now, I can see if you're a Patriots fan, even a New York Giants fan. I mean, they've done shit, you know, within the past two, three years. But, I mean, God, that's just like a Buffalo Bills fan coming on my shit. Oh, dog, we've been to four Super Bowls up in a row, and guess what? You lost every single one of them motherfuckers, dude. It's like, really, what have the Bills and Dolphins done as of late? I ain't talking about, I ain't talking about that Music City miracle shit either, man. I mean, I, I hate that, man. Just let me know um, what y'all think. Um, oh, okay. Schoolhouse experiences. This is where it starts. <sighs> this fucking irritates me, man. <laughs> when you have to be someplace, when you have to be the class, I'm sorry, you're late, and you try to explain to the teacher why you're late, because me personally, if, if, if I'm late to class, I feel like I owe you an explanation. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's just me, though. I'm late to class. You, you, you know, you try to explain to the teacher why you're late. And and what do those smart mouth motherfuckers do think they all high and mighty and big shit just because they're the teacher and it's their classroom? Oh, well, um, I don't care why you're late. It really ain't my problem. Motherfucker, I never did say it was your problem, playboy. I never did say it was your problem, pimpin'. I'm just trying to explain to you. Oh, my God, I hate when motherfuckers... I hate when my teacher used to say that shit, dude. I wanted to hit her in the fucking mouth, but I knew damn well if I did that, I'd probably get expelled and lose my fucking graduation. Well, it ain't my problem. I never said it was your problem, you dumb bitch. I'm just trying to explain to you why I'm late. Why I'm late. Now, you could have said, hey, man, just let's go sit down. I don't want to hear it. Okay, cool. But for you to sit back and say it ain't your problem, motherfucker. Y'all get what I'm saying. I hate that shit. Um, oh, fuck. Anybody in high school can agree with me on this. Some middle schools, mostly high school, because, uh, you know, high schools are bigger than middle schools. When you have to be at your next class, and your class is all the way the fuck across campus, and them niggas only give you three fucking minutes to get there. And then the niggas lie about it and say, oh, well, you, well, you supposed to have seven minutes. Motherfucker, you know goddamn well. You know damn well. It ain't no seven minutes, bitch. You know motherfucking well. We got to be there in three goddamn minutes, dude. Hey, so, man, if I can sit back and lie to you, dog. You mind telling me how the fuck am I going to be from here damn near to McDonald's in three fucking minutes, dude? Now, I know somebody going to say, oh, oh, man, you know your fat ass will probably get there. I'm looking like, bitch, throw yourself off a cliff, motherfucking welcome to Block Island. You see what I'm saying? You can't expect a person to get from here damn near across, way fucking across campus in, in, in no three goddamn minutes, dude. I hate that shit, dude. And then when you late, why you late? Why am I late? Number one, motherfucker, my, cl my class is way across campus. I had to damn near do a fucking marathon 40-yard dash just to get here, dude. Y'all get what I'm saying. Next one. Oh, fuck. When you go to lunch and they give you a small-ass portion. Now, before you niggas even say anything, I understand that... <laughs> I understand that 
when they serve lunch at school, it's not supposed to be a full course fucking dinner and it's not supposed to get you full. It's supposed to coat your stomach until you get home. But do you mind telling me, motherfucker, do you mind telling me how the fuck is a small, tiny ass orange juice in a bite sized Snickers the size of this NFL tag supposed to get me full? Well, not full, I'm sorry. It's supposed to get me, nigga, supposed to coat my shit until I get the fucking home. Until I get home. Until I get home. I'm sorry, I'm fucking up. There is no way in fuck that a bite sized Snickers, nigga, that small ass orange juice is gonna coat a nigga's stomach. And then on top of that, you got the annoying ass fucking history teacher. Are you sure you did your homework? No, motherfucker, I'm not sure, okay? I fucking hate that shit, okay? Next one. Oh, shit. Niggas know what I'm talking about. Niggas know what I'm talking about. When you're watching basketball, football, especially basketball. I mean football, I'm sorry. Especially foot, football. Especially around the Super Bowl. Especially around big fucking games. And these motherfuckers say, take so many commercial breaks, it is beyond fucking ridiculous, my nigga. Okay. Game starts in five minutes, you lying bitch. When they say it starts in five minutes, they usually mean it starts in 20 fucking minutes, okay? Like, for example, they'll sit back and say, okay, and the football game is coming up next. Okay, commercial. Football game coming up next. Commercial. Football. I'm looking like, okay, so when the fuck is the football game going to come on? Nigga, you see all these goddamn commercials, and these commercials take all goddamn day. Is your daughter on her period? Nobody gives a fuck about your daughter being on her period. Nobody gives a fuck about no Kotex, no tampons. We don't give a fuck about none of that, nigga. We trying to watch the game. We really don't give a... Nigga, we really don't give two shits about these advertisements or these commercials. We, nigga, we really don't give a fuck. Okay, let's be real. And for all you motherfuckers that want to... Oh, um... Well, I watch the Super Bowl because of the commercials. Throw yourself off a fucking cliff. I'm joking. Don't throw yourself off a cliff. Like, you sound fucking stupid. Okay? Um, that's been episode nine. Until next time, y'all, I'm checking the shit on out of here. Shout out to all the subscribers. I appreciate the love and support. Um, until next time, y'all, I'm jumping the fuck on out of here. And peace out, playboy.